Sergeant Janitra Penny and his attorney, Larry Clayman, who is suing the administration in Black Lives Matter uh, for causing race riots. Another police shooting, Dimitri. Why does this keep happening? It's the dangerous environment that has been set by this, this, uh, this administration. I mean, we've had 99 police officers killed so far. Uh, 44 police officers have been killed by gunfire. Uh, they can't tell me that this is not a war against police officers. I mean, this is it's happening across the country, and, and we got to find a way to stop it. Um, you know, law enforcement officers, these guys are overall, they're under-equipped, uh, they're undermanned, they don't have the manpower, they don't have the resources, they don't have the funding. Uh, you know, this is something that, that's part of a bigger scheme that I, I think we need to start looking at as, uh, as, as voters, you know, us in the law enforcement community. We got to find a way to fix this. Yes, uh, Larry, to Sergeant Penny's uh, uh, comment there, it looks like there's been a spike in uh, higher versus last year and, and police officers being targeted and, and, and basically killed in the line of duty. You, you know, the 99, Sergeant. Um, I, it, it's not, the year's not even over and we have 99. It might be a record year for police shootings. You say it's the administration, you say it's Black Lives Matter, and you, you're basically in your case you have proof Larry, that it links their comments to police shootings. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Larry? Well, that's right. It's Black Lives Matter. It's President Obama. It's Hillary Clinton. It's Loretta Lynch. It's Eric Holder. But most particularly, it's people like Louis Farrakhan of the Nation of Islam. We know that one of his disciples actually killed the five police officers in Dallas. And we know that he's been responsible for deaths around the country with his calls to kill not just whites, not just Jews, but black police officers that collaborate with whites, such as Dimitri. Dimitri's a true American hero. He doesn't just talk, he came forward. And when he did, he's been threatened with death threats and other kinds of threats. And we went to a court in Dallas. This is the way we want to stop it. We're asking the court, federal court there, of which I'm a member, to issue an injunction to prevent this kind of hate speech, which is whipping this up. And we drew a Clinton-appointed judge, an African-American judge, and I was hoping that he would be fair, but we asked him for a hearing when Dimitri was threatened, and he refused to give it to us. And Dimitri's out there by himself. He's all exposed. Why did he refuse it? We've Just asked the judge quickly, to we, we don't have much time left. Why, well, why, did that, why was that refusal? Why did that take place? Well, I think, he's, I, I think he's biased. We asked him to get off the case. He said that what Farrakhan is saying, and he's called directly for, to kill white people and policemen, that's just our personal belief. That shows a bias. We're going to take this matter up. Uh, with the court again, and we're going to get an order that prevents this kind of hate speech because that's okay. what's causing this right. to happen. We'll get a good judge here. Sergeant Penny, thank you for your service to this country, and Larry, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it.